welcome to Mary Blogger channel. My name is Abigail and today I'm going to show you how to start your blog from the beginning to actually posting your first article in less than 10 minutes. Okay, let's say 10 minutes max. So if you've been wondering where to start with your blog or even how to design it or set it up, then definitely this video will guide you step by step how to do that in 10 minutes and you can publish your first article which is what matters the most when you're starting off and if you don't know blogging is the next income stream you can create online today and you keep making your money for years to come even when you don't have to actively work on it you just need to first do the upfront work and leave it there it's advisable you keep working on it to keep growing it so if you are ready to start a blog today definitely let's get started but before we start off i want you to please subscribe Turn on the post notification and please thumbs up and share this video. Support this channel a whole lot. Thank you. The first thing you want to think about when starting your blog is actually picking a domain name. The domain name has to do with that address, that name that people recognize your website or blog as on the internet. This is how they locate you. That's what they type on the browser and it will take them to your blog after you finish the full setup for the blog. The next thing you want to think about is the hosting company. There are lots of hosting companies out there. The two I recommend the most is Namecheap and Bluehost and that's because so many other hosting companies they either crap you or they overcharge you or somehow they have a super slow server that can actually affect your blog or your website ranking on Google because you need traffic to make money with your blog and the best traffic you could ever get is from Google. If you have Google traffic I mean you're done so you want to optimize your blog from the get-go to rank well on google and that's why you need to go for a good hosting company i do not recommend at all if you ever want to make money from your blog or actually monetize your blog to go for a free blogging platform so for this video we're going to go with bluehost i'll link bluehost below and also link namecheap meanwhile i'm affiliated to bluehost so if you use the link I get a little commission from it. It doesn't affect how much you spend. Instead, it helps get you discounts as well. So you also get a free domain registration when you go with Bluehost and some other discounts and benefits which we'll talk about as we proceed during the steps. When you click on the link in the description box, it will bring you down to this page or you can as well type in Mary Blogger on your browser, uh, Mary Blogger forward slash Bluehost. And it brings you down to this page and basically what you're interested in is this button that says get started but you can explore the page and look around when you're ready you finish exploring click on this button here and let's get going the next part this is where you have to choose a plan for yourself if you are going for a blog then this is the first option is what you're looking at don't worry or obsess yourself over these plans the first one is ideal because you can always switch from a blog to a business website or an online store anytime so you just need to start off with this we're going to click on this learn more button so here comes to the part where you need to choose the plan you want to go for so we have the three options here we have the basic the plus and the choice plus plan basically the first plan is what you want to start off with if you are just starting blogging the second and third option is mostly for those who have multiple blogs you really don't need that so you're starting off with the basic and you need to just select this and proceed this also comes with a free domain so you don't need to worry about your domain registration and all that the payment for it so basically it brings you to this page where you need to enter the domain name you've pre-decided upon so i'm going to just enter one domain that i've already registered uh, it says oluena i'm going to enter that here already this domain is registered so i'm going to add one in front of it so it goes live like so you see the experience if you're entering a domain that has not been taken by someone else so it will tell you that the domain uh is available but if i were to go back let's say i go back and enter the domain the way i registered it without the number in front and if i were to go proceed with it to tell me that someone has taken it already so see here it says the uh all the has been taken already so this is just to give you an example so 
I'll just go back and change this so it goes forward so you see what it, it would look like when you're buying your new domain and uh, in this page this is where you will fill in your details then the second part for this page is where you select how long you want the hosting to go for if it's a 12 month hosting or uh 24 months that's two years or three years depending on what you want the longer you go for hosting the cheaper it gets and next part to this is this whole thing it's not you don't need necessarily need to check these boxes the only thing you might need here depending on the kind of blog you're running is your personal information protection this just helps screen away spammers and also protect your details so that no one has access to it or knows who owns a blog this is relevant when you are trying to run an anonymous blog where nobody knows you own the blog and you just want it to be like that but for a personal brand or personal blog i don't think it's necessary to spend this money for a start when you don't know uh what it will benefit you like who cares at the moment so i'll just go ahead and uncheck those boxes to reduce the price so it comes down to this for uh a three years plan this is for a three years plan if i were to go for just 12 months it will go all the way down as well so it reduces to 71 dollar so you need to then enter your credit detail when you finish check this box to agree to their terms and services and then proceed to submit when you click on submit it brings you down to this page that says welcome to bluehost congratulations you so all you need to do is to click on set password that will take you to the next page here that says create your password so here you will create a password that you will remember at the same time you want it to be difficult so, so that somebody can have access to it so with that it shows you congratulations successfully so all you need now is to log into the account and there you have access to your admin wordpress area where you can now start publishing designing and you know building up your website to look the way you want it to look and we're going to proceed to that next step now so bluehost is saying that you should pick a theme that inspires you i have a theme in mind which is astral the second one in the option here but we're going to skip this step first to the next stage and then later on we'll install theme so here you want to click on start building your website this is what your admin area looks like on the left hand side you just want to hover over appearance and then click on themes and then you want to click on the add button it will bring you down to this page so from here you can pick any theme of your choice but i am going to install astra so i will start by typing in the name on the search bar here so it comes up because it's not amongst this list so here is astra i'm going to install that now when it's installed you want to click on activate so you can see astra is installed so i'm going to go ahead and just add a logo to the site i'll click on customize i don't have a pre-designed logo so i'll just add any logo that comes my way this is how the site is now no nothing but we're going to add a logo to it so you come down to the right corner and click on uh header and then site identity then click on add logo just simply upload the file but we're going to just choose this option here and then add it you can crop it so we're going to add that here now and then click on publish so you see it's already live it just came up now so this is just how far we're going to go here i'm going to go back now and then publish a single post so that you see what it looks like so here you want to come to the left hand corner and then hover over post and you want to click on add new post so it brings us to this page here so what you want to do here is the title of your article is the first thing and you want to paste the main content in here this part so i will go ahead and copy this article that i had already published on marriedblogger.com and I'll, po I'll just post it here so you see so first of all we'll just copy everything copy i'll come here and paste it so this is the whole article 
So this will be my heading. I'll just copy that. I'll cut it actually and put it on the title. So this is my article. All you need to is to format this and give it different heading. For instance, I could give this a header two, a header two. This should be a header three. Here that three like that you just format the article and then come to the right corner the right hand side just here and click publish but before you publish you want to upload a future image so you need to click on this document and here you can now add a future image to it so we're going to add an image to this i already have this image uploaded here if you have to upload a new image click on upload file here and then get a file from your dashboard so let's pick another image here it's my face actually it's this is not going live i'm going to delete it actually so uh just add that to the blog let's publish it and go back to the site and see how it looks so we're going to publish this right now and that is it we're going to view the posts that we just created so this is the article see we have the article live if i were to copy this to where i'm not logged in like this is a new browser and i'm going to copy that and paste here so this is your blog post it is live and direct like real so go to the home page your blog post will be your home page now and we have only one article other customization and how to set up your home page and everything i will cover that in the subsequent video coming up but for now let's be satisfied with just publishing your article content is the main thing you need to have up and running on your site the moment you have a basic setup then you are good to go just keep publishing with time you can actually customize your website to look more beautiful more gorgeous and more appealing and attractive okay guys i hope this tutorial was helpful if you like it thumbs up share and subscribe to this channel turn on the post notification as well so you don't miss a video from me thanks for watching i'll see my next video bye bye